Hello chess lovers, I have a very beautiful chess puzzle for you composed by Armenian chess composer Henrik Kasparian. This was first published in 1938 in a Soviet chess magazine Chess in the USSR. It's white to move and draw the game. You can pause the video and try to find the solution. Ready? Well, let's have a look at the position. White has an extra piece and also three extra pawns. But because of the fact that white pieces are very passive and also white king is in danger, all white can do is to struggle in order to draw the game. You can see that right now the bishop is under attack. That's why first white plays bishop e4. By the way, knight d6 is not good because you can simply lose your bishop and if knight b7, simply rook takes b7, c takes b7 and knight c6 checkmate. What an amazing checkmate. Let's go back. We see bishop e4, the best move. Now rook h2, threatening a check on b2. By the way, if rook h5 is not good because after knight d6, c takes d6, white can simply play c7, promoting his pawn to a queen and this is winning for white. We see rook h2, knight d6, rook b2 check, knight b7 check, knight takes b7, a takes b7, rook b4, d5, rook d4, and it seems like white is in Tsuktsavank. For example, if you move your bishop, then you can lose the pawn on d5. And after a very cunning maneuver by black rook, white is also losing the pawn on h5, rook c5, and this is winning for black. Let's go back. That's why after this rook d4 move, white plays an amazing d6, sacrificing the pawn. You can't capture on d6 with your pawn because of c7 check. That's why we see rook takes d6. Now here comes the most interesting and beautiful part of the puzzle. Look at this. If it weren't this bishop on e4, this would have been a stalemate and a draw. That's why white bishop is starting to maneuver and in order to sacrifice itself and draw the game with the help of a stalemate. That's why we see bishop d5. This bishop is just becoming a desperado piece. Rook f6 and now bishop e6. Rook f8 and now bishop f7. Look at this. This single darting bishop is just moving black rook into the corner of the board. Rook h8 and now bishop g8. This is just amazing. The only move black has to accept the sacrifice otherwise black will just lose the game rook takes g8 and this is a stalemate white has no legal moves and this is a draw what an amazing puzzle by henrik kasparian your comments and questions please and thanks for watching good luck